Hola, mis conejitos. ¿Cómo estás, mi amolicia? Hello, my bunnies. How are you? My name is Allison, and today we are playing Hotel. Ooh, spooky, spooky. So yet again, I know I keep talking about behind the scenes stuff, and I'm sure that annoys a lot of you people, a lot of you fo uh, viewers and follow subscribers. But uh, the reason I like to bring them up is because I don't like keeping anyone in the dark, uh, especially the life I've had, <laughs> especially with the life and choices that I've made. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So uh, if any time you see adjustments to the screen it is because the menu and also the introduction is so dark that I can't tell where the border ends so I do apologize for that especially since especially since right yeah right here is where I cannot see it and I'll have to fix that when we start playing the game so <clears throat> Let's go on and continue, shall we? Alright, so... <sighs> from that, I think I'm gonna try to play as much as I can with this, and then just have to break it down into smaller videos, because this is just not something I can do every single time. <laughs> Okay, so, <clears throat> let's see, what do we have in our inventory? Hotel Memento, long copper wire, case documents, which we've already looked at, digital camera, and cell phone. Uh, double click to use. Yeah, we don't need to use the cell phone just yet. Let's, and we don't need to click on help. Yeah, we, we already know what the quotation is for this, so... Um, that's a locked door. Ooh, the basement! What's down here? Do -do 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 -do. Fuse box. Um, let's look at it first. Some sort of control panel. It looks like an electric fuse box. Electrical fuse box. Um, should we just turn them all on? Oh, it's a puzzle. Uh, of course. There we go. <laughs> Perhaps you missed your calling. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh huh. Ooh, wrench. Nothing too interesting, a heavy wrench, but you know, wrenches are always useful. Got that right. Ooh, a forklift. A forklift. A small forklift. Maybe I can manage to lug it around. Should I try? Yeah, let's try. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's in our inventory! That is hilarious. That is hilarious. You are crazy. It's locked? Aww. Guess that means we have to leave, huh? Move away from the basement. Walk to the hall. No luck. It's locked. Yay! We've got our own Nancy Drew! Ha! <laughs> I already forgot what her name was. Seems to be locked. Restaurant behind this door, but it's locked now. Alrighty, Dighty, then. Alright. Let's go ahead and head back. Maybe. Ooh, a fax machine. Well, that's going to be useful, I guess, later on in the game. Uh, I want to look at those gardening stuff that we saw. Er Ooh, hey, who's this? Oh, that's the detective. Yeah, that's right. Good evening, detective. <clears throat> oh, right. Gotta hit next. Oh, you're still here. In that case, I don't see anything good coming of this evening. How charming of you. Any news on the case? 
No, there is a fax waiting for me, but the machine is broken, I guess. Did you call somebody for the repairs? Are you aware that we are in the middle of nowhere? Look, do as I do, sit and wait. And do nothing? Whatever rocks your boat. What? Such a rude guy. What can you tell me about the owner? That superstitious fool. He's truly scared that the hotel might be haunted by ghosts or something. Go figure. You don't like people, do you? How perceptive of you. There is nothing to tell, really. The owner, Mr. Greenleaf, is one of those wimp mi wimpy men blessed with good business sense. Ouch. A hotel in the middle of nowhere doesn't sound like a good financial asset. This entire place here is his wife's. He just manages it from time to time. She is the real owner of this hotel. Could I speak to her? She is not here. She will be back in a few days. A few? There goes my vacation. What about the girl in a coma? Do you know anything about her? What girl? What the heck? No, she used a false name to register and had no personal documents on her. That's why I'm waiting for that fax. I see. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Look, little girl, you're here. Look, little girl, you're here un unofficially, right? Oh, yes, but... So stop annoying me so much, and don't even try getting into the rooms I marked as resurrected. Remember that this is official police business, and you're out of your jurisdiction. Gee, thanks. What a jerk. Does it really like this? Yes, awesome. This really is just like, okay. This is awesome. Guys, for a while I thought, like the layout of this, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. It actually reminds me of the game Dr Dreamfall. And also The Longest Journey. I, I gotta confess that, because they're both the same, they're both made by the same company. But the way this feels, the way the gameplay is, reminds me of the, uh, the journey to the center of the earth. And that game is amazing, guys. That must be the broken fax machine. Can we just fix it? Whoops, did not mean to click the strategy guide. Uh, inventory. Uh, what if we use the wrench? Absolutely impossible. Alright, fine. Let's go, uh... I remember seeing tools... Oh, that's right! You know what, guys? Look, gardening tools. Yeah. I want to see if I can pick these up. Yes! Awesome! Okay. There's an odd look- old looking iron key in there. It's stuck too deep to be reached by hand. Can we use this? Absolutely impossible? Are you sure? That's not going to work. Hmm. I assume that if we walk over here, that's to exit the place. Exit the castle, yeah. Um. Alright, so what if we... I love that the double click works. That's awesome. That really does remind me of Journey to the Center of the Earth. Okay, so... We could go that way, but that's just the locked room that we came across. This just takes us to our room, right? Yeah. Oh wait, we can go this way. Oh, there's the locked room. There's the restricted room. Is that the only place we can go? Okay. The door is locked. Um. I don't get it. Where do we go from here? 
I am stuck. Well, not stuck, but confused of where I'm supposed to go from here. So I guess this means I'm checking the strategy guide because I've never played this game before, guys. This is, I, this is honestly me playing it blind. And uh, from what I understand, uh, for because I've checked some of the reviews for this on Steam, from what I understand uh, is that a lot of the people gave bad reviews of it. And I probably said this in the first video of the game. A lot of people on Steam gave it bad reviews. And I think it's because they've never played probably a mystery game, a mystery adventure game that's not point and click. Or they're just not used to point and click games or they're not used to mystery adventure games. I don't know. But uh, from what I understand, they're able to... The, the time to finish Hotel is two hours. But considering how we all know how I play, it's probably going to take me four hours. <laughs> so I am actually really stuck. So let me see if I can find... Oh, wow, there's 15 pages of the prologue. Yeah, I think I already got those matches, I believe. No, I didn't. Wait. No, I didn't. Because I remember clicking on those matches. Yeah, I never picked up those matches. But... Return to the fountain. Yeah, we got the... We got that. Um, return to the castle bridge. Okay, so we do have to leave the hotel. Okay. Yeah, I had no idea we could click on these boxes. They say Kateya office supplies. I'm dumb. I only thought it was funny because it said K Kadia. Wait, what did we just pick up? Fax paper rolls. Yes! Boink! There we go. We just put this and yeah. Yeah. Seems like it just needed its paper roll replaced. Oh, and my timing was perfect. A fax is arriving. Yeah. This is interesting. I will make a copy and Matisse won't even know I have the information. Yeah. Fax from hospital copy of facts from hospital patient Jane Doe age unknown no personal documents the patient arrived at the clinic in a comatose state patient was found in a state of the cerebrate rigid rigidity arms are bent at the elbows and her hands are clenched in fists against the chest legs are rigid and have scissored from spasms patient is unable to move from this position due to the coma. A moderate brain injury typically corresponds with an individual who has suffered a loss of consciousness for 30 minutes or more. There are, more, there are notable physical or cognitive impairments which may or may not resolve over time. Physical examination. Vitals. Height 63 and a half inches. Weight is 178 pounds. Pulse is 60. You know what guys? Since they did inches of her height, that should be able to help me, considering I have a calculator on my iPod. Because I want to know how tall she is in feet. So 63 divided by 12. She is five and a half 
wait, five and one and a half inches? That's kind of short. Uh, blood pressure 106 over 72. Skin, no suspicious lesions. Paint. Pupils are equal and non reactive to light. Neck, no edit. Adenopathy, thorough, thorough med medley or brutes. Chest, <laughs> lungs are clear to assaultation and per percussion. Cardiac examination shows normal S1 and S2 without S3, S4, or murmur. Okay. Oh, murmur. I have a murmur. I was born with it. Abdomen, bowels, sounds are active. No, I'm not pronouncing that. Alright, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Hepatosplenomegaly? Megaly? Hepatosplenomegaly. Oh my gosh, I used to do this so easy when I was younger. Uh, tenderness or masses are noted. Extremities, no clubbing, cyanosis, or edema, pulses 2 plus, and regular without brutes. Huh. Hardly any of it makes sense, but the fact that there's that her she's just in a normal state. Hmm. Kind of weird. Your fax has arrived? Splendid! Hmm, perhaps you're not so stupid after all. Excuse me? Well, thanks. But remember, stay away from the restricted area and the wine cellar. I still have to investigate it. By the way, have you seen the cellar key, perhaps? Keys? Um, no. No. But I'll let you know if I do. Well, see you, detective. Have a good evening. <laughs> that was perfect. Wait, do we have the silica keys? No, we don't. We do know where the basement is. Um, so the fact that we need to find these keys is probably a good thing, right? So those must be the cellar doors. Oh, I know where the keys are. It's that glint that we saw in near the fountain. Shoot, how are we supposed to get those? All right, so I have a feeling I should be putting this. Seriously. Return back to the fountain. Are you kidding me? I had the answer with me this whole freaking time. <sighs> Alright. That is just weird. Copper wire to the hole. That makes no sense. Unless you hook the wire to... Yep, it is hooked. Yeah, that was weird. That was an interesting mechanism. Yeah, that wasn't easy for sure. Jeez. Okay. I can't believe I was that slow on... <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Well, now that we got the cellar key... Jeez. That was... Really stupid of me. Yeah, let's have a look in the basement. Inspector Matisse was curious about this place. Maybe there's something interesting in here. What the heck is this? Cutscene galore. We are not skipping. It's a person in a red coat. Or a red hood. 
What the heck? What the heck was that? Either there's a secret door or that was an actual ghost. That was creepy as heck. But it's in plain paper, nothing's written on any of them. Unless it's in invisible ink. We need to test that out. Plain paper, sure, uh huh. Whoops! They appear to just be wooden barrels, but I saw that thing go in there. What was that? I don't know! Oh, that was so weird. So wait. Oh, okay, we can walk over here. Okay. I see the owner has good taste in wine. Must be worth a fortune. Uh, really? That's the only thing we can look at. All right. Well, if the detective thinks he can find more than us, then kudos to him. Oh, but he's, he's not there anymore. Well, wait. Now that we know it's haunted, do we... Oh, seriously. Oh, I wonder if we could have taken a picture. Yeah, I'm betting. Let's actually go back there. I'm betting we could... Jeez, oh, I gotta stop doing that. Okay, so I'm wondering if we take a picture. Can we take a picture? Absolutely impossible. Absolutely impossible. Absolutely impossible. You just destroyed freaking evidence. Kidding me? Ah! Yeah. Success in doing something awkwardly correct. <laughs> and. We need something to lift this. Can we use this? There we go. When you uncover something and don't know what to do with it, try taking a photo of it and then use photo on a laptop in your room. Biggie will then send a photo to her friend who is an expert in such matters. Close this window and then use a camera from your inventory on the symbol in stone. You got it. There we go. All right. Now that that is done, we can actually go back to our room and do as the tutorial says. So we take this and do this. Whoa, that was a weird sound. There. I sent that to my geek friend, at Ek Zavi. He's into the occult, I'm sure. Uh, I missed that. Okay. So, what do we do next? Go to sleep? <laughs> <laughs>